Hi guys, this is our lecture 3 which is on system landscapes. So let us put a question of what are landscapes. In general term landscapes, landscapes are nothing but the arrangement of SAP servers in a company. By default the landscape of any company will be 3 and they are the development server, the quality server and the production server. So what is a development server? So inside development server you have something called sandbox client, golden client and unit testing client. Sandbox client is nothing but the test and trial client where you can roughly code and the golden client is nothing but the real-time developing activities are happening here it's not a trust and trial client so once the development is done in the golden client it is transferred for the unit testing client where the basic level testing happens The next server is the quality server. The name itself states that all your development codes are put to test in this quality server. It has got two clients in it. One is the testing integration client and one is the training client. So the integration testing client is nothing but where your code are put to test into rigorous manner. So rigorous testing leads to confirmation in the code. Once it is confirmed, it is taken to the next level called the production server. So this is in detail about what the development server is. As we have, as I told you, like it starts from the sandbox client, passed on to the golden client and passed on to the unit, unit testing client. So the sandbox is also called as a trial and try server. Whatever you do in this server stays only inside this particular client and is never reflected in any of the other servers. Once the code is being developed in the sandbox client, in industrial terms, there is a word called redo to perfection. So whatever code is just tested with a trial performance or made to perfect code. So that is done inside a golden client. So it is also called a neat client and cannot be used for trial and try. After the redo process, we are transporting the developed objects to the unit testing client. The request will flow from development to quality, quality to production and not backwards. We will see that infrastructure in detail. There are three types of landscapes depending on the requirement of a company. The first and foremost landscape is 3, which is a default landscape. There are four landscapes which is configured in very big companies basically. And there are two landscapes too, which is configured in very small companies. As mentioned earlier, landscapes are named as 2, 3 and 4 depending on the number of SAP servers it holds. And for your information, there cannot be any customized landscapes other than the above listed landscapes. So what you see is a three landscape architecture. As you can see, the presentation layer, application layer and database layer are common in all the servers. So three landscapes are nothing but the number of servers, one, two and three. So it is called a three landscape system. 
Now, once the codes are developed inside the development server, it is transported to the quality server where your codes are put to rigorous testing. One, once the testing is made, if the coding is up to the requirement, it is transferred, transported to the production server. If your coding is not meeting the requirement, it is sent back to the development server. So this process happens until a 100% fine code which is matching the requirement is met. So the second type is the four landscape architecture. It is nothing but the four servers. In this scenario, we have two development servers. You can name the first server as the test and trial server where only trials are made in this server. So after this, it is taken to the first development server. Then the same process continues. There is no possibility of any codes backwards from the production to the quality. The two landscape architecture. It is nothing but to reduce the manpower, to reduce the cost of maintaining a server, companies goes for two landscape architecture where you can find only two servers. One is the development server and one is the production server. So here the development will act as a quality server also. So as usual, once everything is done, it is transported to the production server and vice versa. So this is called system landscapes. Thanks for watching.